and we're live hello everybody welcome back welcome back <laughs> perfect timing you nailed that one thank you tier one for the resub super appreciate your continued support and thanks to you continuing to support me i can hand i can continue to work i slurred over my words there my apologies <laughs> thank you thank you super appreciate it very sweet of you tier one and hello, Empress. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Archaeology Day 6. Is that what we're up to now? Let me look at my title. I changed it. Yes. Archaeology Day 6. Day 6. Mm-hmm. Good morning to you as well. <sighs> if I seem earlier to, to you because of uh, different parts of the world, at least the western part of the U.S. just had daylight savings time which means we spring forward an hour that's how I remember what what we change it to spring forward fall back and I hate it I hate it so much so it would be like 10 o'clock right now normally but you know it is what it is so they're all so they're the words all you want it's my Friday and vodka's been my friend I understand uh, yay Saving, not savings? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, there is no savings about it, that's for sure. Evening, Zandia. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. Uh, I am having to verify my art, my art files. He's crashing. I'm, I'm just sad. He so I watch you would be happy. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully you can get uh, that figured out because files crashing is never fun. Never fun indeed. Morning, I couldn't find the two arc add-on you were using because they are a single arc add-on. It's this one right here. Here's the link for it. There you are. That one specifically. Arky specifically from Wago. Arky Shadowlands. The one from Curse Does Not Work. There we go. So it's that one right there. That should help you out. And good morning to you as well, Takondo. There we go. Hope you're all ready for more archaeology. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a normal thing for Ark after the update, but it's such a large file that it takes forever. Ugh. Yeah, I can imagine. You. Hey, when stuff like that doesn't work right. You're like, darn it, technology, why dost thou curse me? Uh, <laughs> uh, 120 gigs baseline? Good heavens. That's too much. How are you doing? Do you need a rope? <laughs> uh, I'm fine. I am doing fine. The only rope I would need, honestly, is to help me uh, lower me down into these pits so I can dig faster. <laughs> I don't mind archaeology. I really don't. It's just doing it after like five hours in a row. You're like, all right. I'm kind of good. <laughs> but I'm refreshed. I need a break from leveling guides. I've been working on the leveling guides all weekend. Made another entire full route. 1 to 60 for the Alliance. And yet again it was Bupkis. So. Scrap that one. That's like the third or fourth one now. That I've had to scrap and redo. Because. Because of the nerfs. <sighs> Joys of being nerfed. Oh well. So archaeology update confirmed. Is that what I got from the interviews? Uh, did they confirm it? I don't know. I hadn't heard anything on it. Blizzard, was there an interview where they talked about it? Besides just saying they hadn't had time for it? Is there a new one I missed? They've been doing so much with 10.7 and 10.1 uh, lately. I haven't been able to keep up on everything. Do you know what interview what that was? By the way, interview with Ian. Is that a recent one? Well, shoot. Cool. I'll have to go watch that. Do you happen to have the link for that? There's a gazillion, otherwise I gotta find it. Although it's probably on his channel, isn't it? I could probably just go look there. Uh, your guides helped me so much during Shadowlands to get that 8th uh, bank tab by myself. Awesome. Good to know. I am happy to help. I got my 8th bank tab as well during Shadowlands. The stay classy achievement is very, very difficult. 
And woe to anyone that hasn't gotten it done before cross-faction guilds. <laughs> That's what I have to say. <laughs> okay, map, please. All right, I'll take it. I do not, but it's very recent. Okay, that's fine. I'll I'll look it up on his channel. Because the only thing I've heard from them is that they just haven't had time for it and plan to update it eventually. But like, it wasn't really said like that. It was just that's kind of just the vibe that you got from it. But that was quite a while ago now, so. I will have to look into that. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. <sighs> All right. We're doing more archaeology. So we're continuing what archaeology. Um, the only three things left I need. It's just three different pristines. But unfortunately that means it's going to take longer than all the previous pristines. Because it's random, unfortunately. Um, but I need the pristine stone dentures from the ogres and the apexus crystal and apexus hieroglyph from Arakoa. So, you know. That's that. Which is cool. That's awesome. I'm glad I only need three whole things left from Wad. Um, but, you know, thanks to RNG, this is a... Uh, <laughs> it's gonna take a while. I have run across them a few times uh, during last stream, but no dice. No dice on the pristine. It wasn't a, this is a hap, isn't ha, or wow, let me start over. It wasn't a, this is happening, but a, we're looking at this as in probably this expansion. Okay. Interesting. I'll definitely have to go watch that and kind of weigh in on that because that was why I did a video about my suspicions on it in case y'all hadn't seen it. Here's the compilation of that. All my archaeology stuff. Um, <laughs> great timing stream elements, but that's why I had uh, cautioned people before. Probably a good time to start an archaeology because it's not been touched for two whole expansions now. And I imagine that because it's such a big thing, they'd rather update it than remove it. But either way, when things changed, when things change, they tend to get, uh, well, some things get removed. It happens. Look at all the recipes we lost during the Cataclysm update. Intentional or not, I don't know. But, you know. Some of them are coming back now, which is awesome. But wouldn't want anyone to miss anything. So. Uh, does the add-on work on all expansions? Yes. For every expansion that has archaeology, it works. Shadowlands and Dragonflight do not have archaeology. So. Everything else it does. There we go. It's just plug and play. You don't technically have to customize it or do anything with it. I made mine look a little nicer and made it bigger so I could actually see it, but um, otherwise it's plug and play, which is nice. I love my blue dragon skill armor for that reason. Yes! <laughs> it's gorgeous. Uh, I don't think I have that one. I might. Since I, I assume that's one of those removed recipes. But, uh, Let's see. We're only up to seven. Nice. Okay. Nice. Not bad. Excuse me while I do archaeology around this uh, home of the Arakoa that was just destroyed and set on fire. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me as a player, but you know. Oh well. Is what it is. Ah. <sighs> but we really are pretty close with this, honestly. Like, these achievements here, with the exception of the Legion stuff that I can't work on until the quests change every two weeks, this is it. It's just these four whole achievements. A couple pristines from Wad, a couple pristines from Mop, a one more tea set, which I will undoubtedly run into while I'm trying to get the pristines from Mop, and then I'm done with that. I still have items that I haven't collected yet, um, which I will use leveling characters for because those come out of some digs that don't correlate with the achievements I have left. So I think what I'll probably do is 
It's debatable. Whoop! Oh, right in the piece, apparently. It's debatable, but I think I will... I'll do this for, like, an hour. And if it doesn't... If I just don't get a single pristine in about an hour worth of this stream, I will switch to a leveling character and start, uh... Start working on trying to get the other four or five items that I still need. Because there's some from Tolvir, one from Dwarf, and one from Troll. So I can do the Manted Farms on those and shove all the uh, restored artifacts into those solves. I made a Dwarven Mage Alchemist for the sole purpose of getting the recipe for the Drake and never finished farming the Salute Canopic Jars. I don't blame you. It's, uh... If you got bad luck, it's it's abysmal. It really is because it's the RNG on RNG on RNG. It's a bit painful. Like, that's my only complaint about archaeology. Really, is just the fact that it's such got such a layered RNG. Otherwise, I like the experience, going out in the middle of nowhere, experiencing the world, reading about the lore of each item. You know, that's really fun. I enjoy that. Just the RNG aspect is a little bit. Uh, if I didn't have bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. <laughs> that's one way to look at it. <laughs> I appreciate that mindset. It is the perfect Netflix profession. It really is. That it is, Katsu. You nailed it there. You nailed it. If I didn't have leveling guides to work on, that's exactly what I'd be doing after streams put on some movies or something and and do archaeology <laughs> uh yeah true that okay look they're doing archaeology too i mean they're slaves but <laughs> still <sighs> there we go. Nice, nice. Also great for waiting on dungeon queues. <laughs> Still doing dungeons, Canary? You doing time walking for leveling, I take it? Uh, there we go. Nice. Oh, no, I missed it. Bag up. Where's that? There it is. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, I got Caliphy to 70 yesterday with it. Ah, just the ones yesterday. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Yesterday? No. Sometime this week. Maybe Friday. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> ding, ding. Let's see here. Please switch over to the one I need. Please. Pretty please. That's like RNG step one. Hope the solve turns into the solve you need. There's one. Okay, good. Well, technically, that's not even RNG step one. Step one is uh, hope you get the dig site you need. And step two, hope you get the thingy you need from the solve. You know, it turns into the one you need. And then step three, hope it turns into a pristine. <laughs> ah. Oh, well. That's okay. Maybe I'll be lucky today, because it's a new day. Fingers crossed. Because this is one of them. The Apexus Hieroglyph, that's one of them. One of the ones I need. Step one, pray. Step two, pray more. Step three, groan and try again. Pretty much. <laughs> So dumb question, if you were to get try to get the loot with 10,000 gold and drain or achievement on a fresh account, what would you do? Uh, well, if you want my honest answer, I wouldn't try for it specifically. Because you'll go mad trying to do so. All of those type of account or, uh, achievements I've gotten by accident leveling characters. Because it's uh, any gold that you loot, direct gold, not even from like vendoring items. It has to be direct 
pieces of silver and crap off of mobs will count toward that. So honestly, I would say to not worry about it. You will get it in time if you play long enough. It'll happen. Probably not the advice you wanted to hear, but <laughs> that's how I'd do it because I'd pull my hair out. All right, up to the grand, it looks like. Because we are all out of Arakoa. That's fine. Let's get a little ogre action in here. Glowy light beam? Hmm. I'm so, it's, I guess it's just visual, but I'm so used to seeing those light beams, meaning uh, chests on war mode. You know, the, the lootable chests. And I'm like, oh, there's a thing. Wait, I'm not in war mode. Wait, it doesn't happen here anyway. Never mind. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, a friend of mine passed away, and I'm trying to finish the achievement she wanted to get, like getting level 3 in, which requ requires that achievement. Ah, gotcha. Well, that's quite sweet of you. I appreciate that. But honestly, yes. I don't know if your friend would want you to pull your hair out on that one. Uh, but still... If you wanted, I mean, maybe do a mob grind in a dungeon or something. I mean, I think the dungeons count. I don't know if it counts. You'd have to look up and count, uh, see if it counts open world only or if it counts dungeons as well. Might have to do some research on that one. Uh, hello, Sabidia. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. Welcome to Archaeology Day 6. Hello, Chell. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. We have a famous streamer in the house! Gonna do a shout out. Oops, I always spell your name wrong. Haha, -ha, never mind. <laughs> it doesn't understand SO. Shout out. Other people do SO. Why doesn't it work for me? Oh well, it's probably a bot thing. There we go. Waha! Shout out to Chill Heels. Bam! What now? Ha ha ha. Thank you for the visit. Lemme, you were already here. <laughs> I didn't know if there was a raid that was better than others. Yeah, I'm not sure on that one, Tier 1. You might have to look that one up on Wowhead, just because I don't know if it counts. Like, um, open world, I don't know if it counts. Instances or not. I'm not sure. I've never tried to get that one specifically. I've always gotten those achievements just passively, naturally. Oh, hello, mad cow friend. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here in chat. Welcome to day six of archaeology, everyone. Every, All the new folks of you that are sliding into chat here, welcome, welcome. All you lurkers that are also joining me, welcome. Archaeology day six is what we're at now. The reason it's day six is because I am doing archaeology every stream until 10.07 in order to try to finish archaeology because that is my goal I want to get this done. I only have a few achievements left and like five rare items left to farm. I'm pretty close. But, you know, RNG, man. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoy. Uh, all thanks to you. You're very welcome, Chill. Happy to do so. Happy to spread the love a little. Uh, probably just all the dungeons and raids and drainer as often as possible. Yeah, if it counts the instances, then yeah, definitely. I really want them to bring back Ark as a profession. I really liked this. Yeah, same. I agree. Uh, I think you're underestimating the rare item part of what you have left. Oh no, I'm definitely not. <laughs> There's a reason I still don't have them. We will see, but that doesn't won't stop me from trying to grind it out anyways. Because if you don't try, you won't get it. Alright. Because trust me. The uh, Kuraji battle tank alone, I'm up to, I looked at it the other day, 4,365 tries. Isn't that great? <laughs> 4,365 tries. Wow. Yeah. I'm just happy about that. Mm hmm. <laughs> And that's the, 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 you know, we want to know the gross part. I still have two other Tolvir rare Mog weapons that haven't dropped from Tolvir either. And it's from the same solves. 
I smell a problem. <laughs> so. Colada Lunaria is raiding with a party of 77 hot diggity dang. Welcome, everybody. That's super sweet of you. Welcome, welcome, Chloe. Welcome, Chloe and friends. Hello, everybody. Glad to have you here. And thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow, Malni. Malkani? Malni. I'm probably saying that totally wrong. But <laughs> thank you for the follow and glad to have you here. Hot diggity because archaeology. <laughs> you got me there, Uncia. Yes. We love the Cabbage Patch. Aw, the Cabbage Patch has arrived. Welcome, everybody. Glad to have you here. Hope you uh, enjoy the stay. Thank you for popping in. Today is Archaeology Day 6, where I am grinding my eyeballs out doing archaeology every stream with the intent of being done with it by 10.07. I probably won't be, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to try. <laughs> That's my goal, at least, man. That's my goal. And goals are good, so... Uh, Alright. The farming pristine ones broke me and I haven't touched archaeology in years now. Totally understood, Mac Mad Cow. The pristines are... its That's the murder part. <laughs> Honestly, all of it kind of is, but, you know. Uh, 4k try slash hides mount. Yeah, don't worry, NGC. Uh, Canary's gotten it twice now. And one of those was her first Tolvir solve. Makes me a little salty in the inside, let me tell you. <laughs> but anyway. But yes, hello, good evening, Chloe. Thank you for the raid, I super appreciate it. In fact, duh, I need to do the shout out. Shout out. Uh, hello, da, Lunaria. Waha! I know how to do shout outs now. I really need to get a bot that can do that for me. I'll figure that out, I haven't figured that out yet. But, you're very welcome, Chloe. Happy to spread the love a little bit. I super appreciate it. I don't like an area anymore. I know, right? I feel that. <laughs> uh, what do we got up here? Uh, blessed be the fruit. It's my dear sister in Zira. God, queen of the five deities and conqueror of the coffee mugs. I like that one. Happy Monday. Hope you're well and great to see you. Glad to have you here, Whittley. Delightful to have you. In fact, once the cooldown on my shout out, because I think it's like a minute or something, Wears off. I will give Whittly Wee a shout out as well because Whittly is trying to make affiliate in his streams. How about them apples? And unfortunately, you stream fairly early, so I can't make it to all of them, but I try. Uh, where are we at here? I feel like having reasonable goals is important. A reasonable goal would be something like get all pristine work as much done as po reasonable on the rare old drops. I mean, that's what this goal is. I'm almost done. <laughs> I'm almost there. So, to me, it is quite reasonable. I enjoy... No pristine on that one? Nope, no pristine. Lame. I enjoy setting goals for myself. So we will give this a try. Really? Did it Did it go full... Full red? Oh yeah! Alright. Well, let's take flight point. Um, 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 um. Actually, it's faster. Let's go to Ashran through Stormwind. I have to buy a map. I'm out of maps. Cause I don't need the uh I don't need that dig anymore. It likes doing that. Uh not my fault. I know that's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem. Uh thanks for the stream. Was fun to visit. Oh, that was for Clo. Oh, that's sweet of you, and see ya. Uh hello, Whip Whap. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> hello. Wave to chat and wow's loveliest leveler. Hello, Whip Whap. Glad to have you here. You said the goal was to get all the rare drops. It is indeed. I am going to get all the rare drops and 100% complete this profession. Because that's what type of player I am. I enjoy 100% completing things. <sighs> Where are we at here? Ah, oh, thank you. It was great seeing you in my chat yesterday when honor really basically my <laughs> wow god making royalty. I wish YouTube thought that, let me tell you. <laughs> I appreciate that though, Whittley. Canary, can we have your RNG seed, please? No kidding. Ugh. Tell me about it. Because the the seeded world I am on, my 
my seed is uh not my planet seed is not lucky. There there's no RNG goodness on my side, I feel like. Oh well. Alright, I need a couple of these. Still got ten minutes on it. Oh man. Ah oh, no. I can't do that for ten minutes. Alright. Let's go to Draenor. And then I guess we'll probably do some, uh... We'll switch characters and start working on some of those rares instead. YouTube will, I'm sure- I'll make sure of it. <laughs> I appreciate it, Woodley. I don't think you won. I've been sorry, farming CG for a couple weeks now, 60 plus tries each time, and still no raptor. I mean, you got the panther already in that time. That's extremely good luck, Canary. It took me a good few hundred tries to get those mounts. I know you complain, but I don't think you realize how lucky you are compared to me. Uh, uh, anyone still doing SL mission tables for charms? Many pets bump to 25 sell for good gold. I do not do those myself, so I would not be the one to ask there. <laughs> you just want canary seed crack and wait, that sounds wrong. Yeah, I want her luck seed for sure. Because the seed of my planet is uh lame. Alright, should I put these into Arcea? Uh, yeah, let's do Arakoa. They need two from that one. Uh, yeah, a couple of hundred attempts before I got the panther still in the raptor either. Yep, sounds about right. Rip. Ripperino. I still do tables for terms and rip. Paragon still gives 4k gold. Nice. Awesome. You just want the touch of destiny? I would love the touch of destiny. Please. <laughs> Because let me tell you, my fate, my webs of fate are strong. Okay, pristine, please, 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 please. No, no pristine. Damn it! <laughs> Not being nice to me here. <sighs> but just got my human priest up to sixty. One more to add to the pile. Nice. Congrats, Uncia. That's always a nice feeling. Let's get that there. I'm sitting on 11k pet charms at the moment. Dang, that's awesome. If I had that many pet charms myself, I'd be, uh, I'd level all my pets with it. <laughs> but I haven't done pet charm farming in a while. Been too focused on other things. <sighs> I'd have a lot more done if this dang leveling guide would just, you know, work with me. But because of all the lovely nerfs that happened. And the new lovely imbalance to try to deal with. It's uh, It's been a bit of a ride. I'll put it that way. I say that with all the salty love in my heart. <laughs> uh, look, another hieroglyph. That's good. That's good. Let's try that. Maybe? Question mark? Maybe? Can I get it to go up? No, not enough. Okay. Well, let's get this boy back to his garrison. And I still have seven minutes on the map. I'm not going to sit around for it. So we're going to switch characters and do some rare farming for the archaeology instead of achievement farming. Because I'm not waiting around to, to use my map. Where are we at here? Uh, I've only been back to Shadowlands once and that was by accident. <laughs> yeah, me too. Aww. I have learned Shadowlands dungeons suck. Uh, they're alright, but I'm not really the best person to speak for that just because I'm not into dungeons, frankly. What's with this? I have not been disconnected. Where are we at here? Um, down here. Da, 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 da. We need to finish the one that I was working on. Where's he at? Really? Alright. Oh! I wish there was a way to edit seed creation files in WoW, but there is server-side info which can't be changed after you generate your account. Yeah, same. I, I wish, man. Let me tell you. <laughs> if we could spread luck somehow, I would totally do that. Hello, Ellie. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. Oh, speaking of, I need to do um, the shout-out for Widdly Hui. Oop, too many E's. Waha! There we go. 
Shout out for Whittly Wee, who was trying to get his uh, streaming going, stream career going, and hit affiliate. So, go give him a follow if y'all haven't. Help him out. Help a bro out. Okay, so I need... Let's see. Interesting, these are all... It's red here, too. Interesting. I guess that's account wide. That's fine. Let's see. Dig sites. Blacklist. Not archaeology. Where are we at here? Manted. There we go. And they're all manted. Perfect. Ah, uh, someone followed me. Where are we at here? The new guy, Padawan. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you. Super appreciate it. All right. Where are we at? Where are we at here? Nah, 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 nah. Back up. I miss some stuff. You guys are chatty today, and I appreciate it. I like it when you're all chatty. <laughs> uh, I'm still back up to 3,400 or so pet charms at the moment, but I still need to buy the 5k DF one. Ah, gotcha. Uh, Kraken, since you know everything, I was wondering yesterday. Is there a weaker or something for reputation? I'm looking for a huge progression bar because the old standard bar is too small for my old eyes. Hope I wasn't too cryptic with my question. Uh, there probably is, but I don't actually use weak ores for reputation. The only rep I use is the base one here and then the add-on paragon reputations to adjust some of the colors. But that's it. I just use the ones that are in here. If I really want to focus on a reputation, I turn on LVI's, uh, let's see, under data bar, reputation. And then I turned it on here because you can customize that. So if you use LVI, you can do that. Um, but that's it. I don't really use any anything else for reputation tracking. Uh, do you have a Discord? I do indeed. Canary, it looks like she got you there. There's the link. Uh, pets is the only thing I'm kind of good at in this game, lol. I have 20k pet charms and over 1,100 unique rare 25 pets. Nice! Congratulations. Oops, I'm missing it here. On the bright side, all 2,494 of my pets are 25 and blue. Nice. Game ping goes over 600. Rot row. That's not good. <laughs> uh, charms are for providing pets. Too many quests for stones to spend on them. True that. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's get back into it here. Oh, I need to fix the visuals on this thing. Boop, boop. You are rude. There we go. Alright. Back to digging. Oh, where are we at here? Just make 100 accounts so you found a good seed. It will only cost you $35 on the right account. Uh, sure, yes, definitely. It, it cost me $35 and 10 years worth of collection. Uh, pet uh, arbitrage Arbit Rage across realms is extremely profitable. Nice. You're way too good to me. Thank you for the shout out. You're very welcome. <laughs> uh, where are we at here? I'll make sense. A few of the pets I don't need, or I don't have, need the charms, but I like the grind my grind to level my pets uh, in such an old school Pokemon player at heart. <laughs> All good. See, I'm too lazy. I just use my charms to buy battle stones and then uh, level up my pets that way. I used to level them manually, but you know, after you're like two thousandth one or whatever, you're like, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of good, kind of good. <laughs> oh. Thank you. I was kind of inspired by the archaeology bars you have on the left. Just something very visible in farming reputation. Well, if you do use LVY, you could do something probably similar with that bar because you can customize the bar itself. You can make them all big and wide and colored. I feel like there's probably a LVY edition for that. I feel like I've seen one, but I never do it specifically, so. <sighs> there we go. Ever since the squirt strat using Lost Limb, I don't bother with leveling stones. I have so many now. <laughs> nice. Do you have any gold farms you do? Yes, I usually do gold farming on Mondays when I'm not grinding stuff out. 
and the current one I kind of do. <laughs> I'm very lazy about it because I don't really care too much about gold, unless there's a gold sink. Is the uh, dragon ra flight races. The races, because you can do those on any 60 alt. If you need dabs to see a video on that. Uh, did I not put that one? I thought I did. Well, well, well. I forgot to make a thingy. Hold on a second. Do, 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 do. Let me go find it. For you. Hold on a second, Dabs. Where are we at here? Burp, 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 stream elements. Yash. My videos. Yash. Uh. Uh, da, 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 da. There's the link. <sighs> Connect with what? Twitch. Why'd you log me at Stream Elements? You know I use you like every day, seriously. Hold on everyone. Let me make a chat command for dabs here so that I have that. Where are we at here? Custom commands. Add new. Raw gold. Or just gold. We'll just do gold. Boop. Okay. Command aliases. Raw gold. And raw. And gold farm. There we go. Bam! Alright, dabs. There you go. <laughs> That's the gold farm I am currently doing in Dragonflight. Waha! I got you. <sighs> Alright, where are we at up here? Da, da, da. Such a beautiful zone. It really is. It is. And Dabs also redeemed Hydrate, Prostor Check, and Stretch. So do that, everybody. I appreciate it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And make sure you hydrate with water. <laughs> Thank you. I do the WoW token farm. <laughs> yes, exactly. Wait, wait, wait. Wouldn't the cost of getting a good seed account cost 60% account having to be made to get the good seed? I have no idea, honestly. Uh, sorry if I misunderstood a previous question, but Blizzmove add-on lets you resize windows. I just tried to rep screen and text resize too. There is that too as well if you need to re just resize it. But, yeah. You, it doesn't, like, have a specific bar out. I thought that's more what you were referring to. But yeah, if you just want to resize your windows, Blizzmove is the add-on for that. That's the one I use as well. Oh, rep bar, not rep screen at all. Sorry. Oh no, all good. <laughs> that might do what he wants, I'm not sure. Uh, I kind of, uh, most of my casual 40 to 60 leveling by doing the mop tamer around... And the 12 uh, non-legendary dailies and the tiller stuff for a few days. Nice! See, that would drive me nuts because I can't stand the tiller stuff and I don't really actually enjoy pet battles. <laughs> so, my kudos to you, good friend. Uh, I will... I try... will make the rep screen bigger. Have old eyes too. I will. <laughs> Not I try. Silly spell check. All good. I have the same problem. Yes. Yeah. Well, and in my case, too, I play on a very big screen, but it's a very, uh, it's a standing desk. And if I am sitting, I'm usually a good few feet away from it. So, like, it's not a super big screen, but it's pretty big. So I just like things being visible. I also have very, very, very poor eyesight. And even with glasses, it's hard to see some see things sometimes. So, you know, you know. Who thinks you are very welcome? Dabs, happy to help. Amber, when the Albine Cave fish sold for 150 gold each, dang. <laughs> uh, it was a guess, to be honest. Yeah, I feel that. I am so stoked with World Quest gear going to be upgradable. Was choked when Blizz removed account wide Valor upgrades. I saw that. Certainly interesting. I don't know if I'll do it myself, because. I don't really care too much about item level, 
But for those that do, that's pretty awesome. I don't know how we're going to get the Valor, though. Or I guess it wouldn't be Valor, because it's different upgrades now. You just said that. Yeah, right. Because it's those stone things, whatever they are. I don't know. I haven't really looked too much into that system, because I don't really care. <laughs> of my apologies. Can't speak to things I don't really know about, honestly. Uh, my monk is currently level 63 or 64 with nothing but a 50 level boost in archaeology. Understandable. Understandable. Alright. Okay. Oh, let's see. What should this character keep trying to focus on? Should this character focus on... Tolvir, Dwarf, or Troll? I think I'll do Troll. I think I'll focus on Troll on this particular character. So this will be my Troll one. At least until he hits 70. <laughs> um, and I'll try to get the sword. The Zinrok, whatever it's called. Something like that. That's the one that's what I'll focus on, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. My ma let's see, where we go? No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Where are we at here? Uh hey girl, how's it going? Hello, teams. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. It's going fine. Just doing some archaeology for day six. Cause I am focusing on trying to get all of the stuff done before 10.07. And I'm pretty close, actually. But I'm down to the nitty-gritty stuff that, like, if I strike out on some bad RNG, it just won't happen. But you never know. You never know. I've had weirdly good luck when I'm streaming. And I can't explain it. <laughs> so, you never know. Uh, a drag through trying to figure out uh, all the other races before it learns about itself? Exactly. <laughs> Good to good to know your enemy I mean allies. Yep, definitely. <laughs> well this particular character, uh RP wise, he was actually uh a blue dragon who is his name is uh Verlagos. And he served Malagos. He was a curator and archivist for Malagos, and he doesn't like Calagos. So he's out there trying to gain power for the Blue Dragon Flight because he's made a very loose agreement to aid the young aspect. There you go. There's a little bit of RP for you. <laughs> Who this character is. Oh, crack and cutie, we love you. <laughs> well, I love you too, BG. I appreciate that. That's super sweet of you. And glad to have you here again. Always glad to have the regulars pop in and hang out with me. I appreciate it. Makari misses her verily. <laughs> well, maybe she needs to play more. I don't know. Quit her job. I don't know. I mean... <laughs> you know, I'm being mean. I'll admit, finding Cinder Ghost in the storyline was really exciting to me. Same! I liked seeing her as not crazy death dragon. Because, <laughs> you know, she wasn't always like that. So mean to me. I know. It's only because I love you, Canary. It just means I want to spend more time with you, you know? Cinder Gosa was kind of cute in her non-dragon form. Right? I thought she was adorable. I really liked it. Alright. Let's get over. Let's see. That's Mogu. Manted all the way up in town long. Um. Hmm. I'm not gonna make the town long one. I need to go. Yep. Okay. It's time to actually go back to the Vale. And now that I've exhausted uh, most of my mantid stuff that was already here, I need to buy a thingy. Um. So I can. Whatever you call it. Get the mantid thing. <laughs> 
I really wish it lasted more than 24 hours. I wish it was 24 hours game time, not real time, because that makes it kind of annoying. All right. Oh, well. Oh, let's see where we at. Uh, I found you on YouTube. Can you check out your live streams? I feel maybe some of your old guides could use a refresh. I'm sure they could. I've actually, that's kind of what I've been doing lately. The majority of my old guides are still accurate, though. I actually, uh, whenever a guide goes, like it doesn't work anymore, it goes defunct. That's what I call it in my head. I actually remove them. So, surprise. <laughs> That's exactly what I do. I remove them and then remake them if I feel it's worth it. Alright, here we go. Let's rewind those, pull that down here, and get over to where we need to do. Do you have a specific channel in Discord where I can post a 3D model of WoW characters I made? Well, if I guess that would be considered art if you want, so you can put that in the art channel. Wherever you want, Dabs, that's up to you. Uh, are you calling Kraken old? I mean, technically I am. I've been a YouTuber for... well... I keep trying to say four years, because technically I started... uh, mid-2019, but none of that stuff exists anymore. So to me it's four years, to you it's only three. Because my oldest video actually existing on the channel is 2020. So, you know, but still. Uh, can't wait for dragon flying everywhere. <laughs> Same. I sure hope we do get that someday. I would love that. Cool, thanks. You're very welcome, Debs. All right. Let's get going here. With my super, super painfully slow flying. <laughs> kills me, man. It kills me. There we are. Uh, no issue with posting guides and such expansions, patches, updates, etc. can change aspects of it so the guide is not exo exactly relevant. What ones are you referring to? Because I do actually go through my guides every patch and remove ones that no longer work. So... If there's any you think aren't working, I mean, let me know. Oh, want to buy dragon riding race world quests in the old world. Yeah, you and me both. Agreed. It will take longer, but can't wait for dragon riding or similar system to be extended to the rest of the mount. So I'll also need to be uh, share very four similar mounts with optional recolors. Yeah, I feel that. Agreed. Oh, I remember you mount YouTube series that helped me beef up my collection. Thank you for those. You are very welcome. I'm glad some folks have enjoyed my mount collecting videos because those a lot of those I did during Shadowlands and they did horrid. People did not want to see those despite them being very highly requested. So I'd actually put it together in a compilation later which that one did amazingly well so I was like okay interesting <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's see, where are we at here? They want to make things relevant again during time walking. Again, Miller interview is worth the watch. Well, I sure hope they actually go that route because I've heard that story from them before. That would be nice. There we go. Oh, up here. Where are we at? Nope, come on. Nope. <laughs> Up here, please. There we go. Really? Is it kind of weirdly on the side? Yeah, here it is. There it is. Boop. There we go. Okay. Oh, time walking needs some solo player content. As it is, I ignore it. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I honestly wish uh, like someone had this idea ages ago, and I wish I had thought of it, but uh, to add the, you know, the 50% rep you get during, t I think it's 50%, during time walking um, 
for, you know, stuff, quests and such of that expansion. I really wish it was uh, increased experience gain, too, to encourage you to go level in that area. Man, I would make guides for each expansion out the wazoo if that was the case. Even for BC and Wrath. You have no idea. I would be, I would be thrilled. Oh, you know. Oh, well. That would be pretty cool. Oh, where are we at? Up here. I really dislike the dragon races for gold. Takes too long to get all eight of each of my team to race piggyback, and the race itself is not boxable currently. Um, see, I actually really like them, because it only takes about six to eight minutes, maybe ten if you're sl a little slow, to do all four races per character, which matches the equivalent time of BFA when I would do the 2k quest. So I really liked them for that. Like, yes, it's not multi-boxable, but, you know. That would be pretty cool to have things come inside time walking, but I'd rather it just always be relevant. Yeah, same. Uh, the Building Your Alt Army series with the Profession section doesn't cover how do you have changed specializations for how many alts needed for new specs. Well, that's the best part, team. It doesn't have to be, because the old specs required, you know, for alchemy and engineering have nothing to do with Dragonflight. And in Dragonflight, all of the specializations for the Dragonflight professions can be learned on every single character. You can learn all of them. You don't have to just pick one. So the old professions haven't changed, and the new professions don't affect them at all. And you don't need multiple characters for all of the uh, specializations. One character can learn all three or four, or whatever yours has, because some of them have different numbers. So that's the best part. I don't have to change that at all. So there's no change in that. And I can say that because that's what I've done with mine. No, no change in the number there. They want to make Time Walking Zone itself relevant again, so if it's Wrath Week, maybe World Quest Northrend or some such. I would love that. If they actually decided to go that route, that's exactly what I've been saying for a long time. I want World Quests in the old world. Please. I actually really like World Quests. I think they're fun. They're like dailies, but, but usually easier. You know. Ugh, I would love it. Oh well, maybe one day. I do not believe DAF changed how many they needed. The only thing DAF changed was DAF specific specializations. All the old specializations can, can only be learned by one profession. Correct. Canary is correct on that. All the Dragonflight specializations can be learned on a single character, you know, for that profession. And all of the old profession specializations for like alchemy and engineering are still one per character. So nothing, uh, none of that has changed. Uh, I love the anniversary event, letting people go back and visit old pre-expansion events and the like for rewards if nothing else. Agreed. I love a lot of the pre-patch events and stuff like that. I really liked the, uh, I honestly really liked the Dragonflight one. It just, they needed to fix their lag issue. Because <laughs> I liked those version of the Primal Storms better than the ones we have currently. The ones, the current Primal Storms are kind of lame to me at least. Uh, yep, very much this. Yep, correct. Kraken, I have another question. How are you so awesome? I can't handle it. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Woodley. I appreciate it. Uh, we need Legion and BFA style world quests back, though. I want at least two, three quests that are just kill a boss or something. See, I am pretty happy with the Dragonflight ones, but I do agree that I still think BFA was kind of peak world quest style, especially with the emissary system. I like the emissary system more than, say, the callings from Shadowlands. I did not like the callings. And I miss, like, Dragonflight, I feel, would really benefit from an emissary system. If they just slapped it on there, do, like, X amount of world quests or whatever, I would like that. I actually enjoy that, personally. So I agree with you there. Oh, where are we at here? Uh, since it's Wrath Week, does rep bonuses affect speed of getting champion seals? Uh, I don't believe so, because champion seals are not rep related, they're just a static currency. Like how many dailies you finish. You can get like, what is it, between 12 and 16 a day? Including the dungeon, I think? Unless you spam the dungeon. Um, and you can do that multiple times. If you haven't seen my dungeon 
my video on how to speed that up, you can check that out. Champion Seals. It's definitely a handy one. Uh, for sure, most of them are just too long. Uh, and sneaky multi-stage ones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't like the sneaky multi-stage ones where you go over there and you're like, Oh, I just need to do this thing? Cool. And then after you do the thing, it switches and changes. Oh, now you need to do this. And I'm like, why didn't you tell me that before? Now I'm not going to do it because I don't have time for that. Goodbye. Thank you for wasting my time. <laughs> yep, I strongly dislike the sneaky multi-stage ones. That's a good name for them. Uh, hurry up here. I hated when the Callings was forgetting to grab the quest before I went and did the task. Exactly, dear one, yes! Yes! Precisely. The the best part about the Mantid- or Mantid, wow. This is because I just got the achievement. The best part about the Emissary system is you didn't have to go pick up the quest. You just went and did the stuff and then turned it in at the end. It was just always ready for you. With the callings, I would constantly forget to go pick up the dang callings. And it was always a pain to figure out, okay, where's the third one? Especially in, in uh, Venthyr with the two-tiered covenant and... Let's see, the, um, let's see, the Maldraxxi and the Kyrian one were pretty easy to pick up. Uh, what's the other one? Knife The Knife map never quite matched where the callings actually were, and it drove me nuts. <sighs> yeah, that's that's what I feel. Uh, it does seem like Wretch is my rep. Let me start over. Rep is much easier to get in DF though. It, in BFA, it seems like it took longer. Um, I think it might just be because, like, you are definitely correct there. But I think it's mainly because they're letting us do open grinds. I'm still sticking to just the weeklies, and not bothering with it there. Um, pretty much like I did just the emissaries and quests in, in BFA. So for me, it's about the same time. But I think it's because they have lots of different ways to get rep in Dragonflight versus just the emissaries. That's why I think Dragonflight would benefit from having both. Lots of options on ways to do that. Because I, I don't really go out and do the grind specifically. I just do the weeklies and call it good. <laughs> Uh, yep, champ seals are currency, so it isn't increased. Yep, exactly. I've never done BFA. Played for a few months during Legion, quit, came back at the very beginning of SL, played for three to four months, quit, then halfway through for one to two months, quit, and then just came back a few weeks ago. Well, welcome back again for the however many times. <laughs> welcome back. I was that way until mid-mop. I would start, um, I technically started in vanilla, but I can't really say I did just because I would only play for a little bit during the first patch of like each expansion. And it, the game wasn't really for me. I loved Warcraft lore. I loved the, the you know, everything about it because I always had the books. I loved the RTSs, but I'm not really into MMOs, like the actual MMO aspect of things. I'd rather play on my own. I'd rather collect stuff, and Old WoW wasn't really conducive to that type of style, not like it is nowadays, so I just didn't stick around until mid-mop. And in fact, I only stuck around in mid-mop because my friend I had at the time goaded me into raiding, so. <laughs> but since then, since 5.4, I haven't stopped playing, so. I have stopped raiding, though. I am glad I gave that up. It wasn't my thing. Uh, I feel bad. I still don't have my reps max in Dragonflight. <laughs> don't feel bad, Tier 1. I don't either. I think I'm like... I'm like 19 and 20-ish for all four of them, I believe, on my main. I haven't even done my, my weeklies in a couple of weeks just because... Um, I've been focusing on archaeology and leveling guide stuff, so... You know. Alright. Uh, don't feel bad. We also don't have <laughs> max threat for the DF. <laughs> Are you the royal we there, Canary? <laughs> yes. Yeah, only got two reps uh, over 10 arena and even. Exactly. I'm very passive about it. It looks like a lot of us here are too. No, no rush. I mean, there's really no reason to rush. Take it at your own pace and enjoy it. 
don't have to have the go 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 for everything, which is nice. Uh, there's more rep available in Dragonflight, but it used to be 4,200 rep, or 42,000 rep rather, to go from zero to exalted, and now it's 2,500 renown, uh, times renown levels, so 62,500 to 75,000, depending on if it's 25 to 30, 30 renown levels. Yeah, exactly. Yep. I knew, uh, thank you for mathing it out for us, Sid. <laughs> you nailed it. Uh, where are we at here? Up, oh, someone followed. I heard the jingle. Uh, implied slight. As I slur my words, apparently. Thank you for the follow, implied slight. Welcome to the fam, and I hope you enjoy your stay. Glad to have you here. Uh, I made my main scribe for the sole purpose of getting reps up and then being able to make the scrolls for extra rep and failed. <laughs> understandable, Tierwin. Totally understandable. Try going into some rated PvP for social, great social experiences and wow. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. No, thank you. I do not miss when I did PvP. I also did, I used to do rated PvP. I did all the bigs. I did the dungeons and then met Mythic Plus when that turned into Mythic Plus later in Legion. Dungeons, I did the raids all the way up through Heroic or Mythic, whatever was max at the time. And I did PvP. Usually twos or threes. I dipped into RPG RBGs for a little while, but my group on that quit pretty quickly. And let me tell you, I don't like it. My social aspect of WoW is right here with you beautiful people. That is my social. <laughs> and I'm happy to keep it to that. Because <laughs> you all are wonderful. And we're not actually playing together. You're just hanging out with me while I play. Technically, so <laughs> that's like right up my style. I think that's why I've been enjoying this so much. Hey, 69. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, yeah, sure. Get a pristine on a character I don't need a pristine on. Oh, well. We love you too. Aw, well, thank you, Uncia. <laughs> and thank you for the follow, Team Sinso. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. It's been wonderful chatting with you, and I hope you enjoy your stay. Appreciate the follow. Where are we at here? Oh, where are we going here? Being alone together? The best kind of alone. Exactly, Lady Daisy, you nailed it. Bam, gold star for you for the day. <laughs> yes. Beautiful. Whoop. Hello, Kuchan. <laughs> Oops. Missed it. There it is. Alright, let's do some... Mm -mm. Rude, I was taking a drink. Hmm. Alright, there we go. Hydrate, everybody. It's good for you. A little bit of water never hurt no one. I mean, it could, but, you know. We're ignoring that side of it. <laughs> Being alone together is one of my favorite things. <laughs> yes, agreed. I have cursed myself with all the things. Definitely be careful with all the things. There's uh, many a reasons I don't use it, and the fact that it feels like a curse despite it being actually a wonderful database. No, no ill against the all the things creators, it's just, it really is all the things. It's too much. <laughs> so, uh, careful, don't stress yourself, team. <laughs> Woohoo, I got a star! You did indeed! I wish I could actually, like, give you stars. Maybe that's a... Hey, uh, something you can do is, uh, whatever you call it. Uh, not a patron. Um, uh, partner. There we go. I am trying for partner. I need to check and see if they email emailed me yet. I had applied for partner, like, back at the start of February now, and they still haven't answered, so, I don't know. It's probably a no on that one, if that's the case. Oh, well. That's okay. What do you do? That's all right. Boop. Uh, I do miss raiding. The last time I seriously raided was Throne of Thunder. Oh yeah? See, I don't miss it. I'm so glad I quit. I never wanted to raid in the first place because I don't like it. But, you know, when it's drilled into your head that the only way to play WoW is to play the competitive end game. It's the only way you play WoW after you hit max level, period. No, don't believe that. It's false. That is not true. <laughs> 
I haven't raided since Legion, and I haven't done Mythic Plus since BFA. And I am happy as a clam, let me tell you. Uh, I made a 3D scuffed Illidan, and I'm working on Arthas as the Lich King, and Paladin, what should I do after Arthas? Ooh, can you do Sargeras? I'm a big Sargeras fan, not gonna lie. I would say do Nazoth, but I feel like that would be very difficult, because tentacles. <laughs> Introverts unite separately in your own homes. Yes. I need that shirt. I need that on a mug or something. There we go. Uh, people are drowning in a little bit of water pretty often. <laughs> Shh, don't tell them that. That's how I get paid. I collect the souls of my viewers. I mean, what? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> or am I? Do, 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 do. Uh, speaking of, my VTube model uh, is coming along nicely for those of you that knew about it. And for those of you that don't, I'm having a VTube model made. I'll be a YouTuber soon. And can you guess what it is? It's not going to be my my uh, YouTube avatar. That one's getting retired as soon as I get the new model done. I'm going to be a little kraken. It's going to be so cute. I'm so excited. It's coming along nicely. Thank you for the follow, Jess Bop. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. And I hope you enjoy your stay. Oh, where are we at here? Hearts? Yes, hearts to you as well, Empress. I like all the things, but the strain it puts on my computer is massive. <laughs> there is that too. Like, you can turn off a lot of the modules, which is really nice. And hot damn, my kudos to the creators and upkeepers of all the things, because that's... Y'all think I'm crazy. That's a lot of work. That's gotta be. Uh, I've played in the past during Wrathcat and Legion, played a bit during Dragonflight launch, enjoyed it, planning on resubbing within a month. Nice! Well, I super hope you enjoy it. Isn't there a a free Dragonflight thing going on either right now or soon? Check that. Check out the launcher, New Guy Padawan. I feel like I saw a thing where Dragonflight's going free to play for a few days. Um, and maybe you could test it out. Make sure you like it. So, definitely look into that. Uh, it took me years to realize that I didn't like raiding. I feel that panoramic. Well, and the silly thing for me is like, I go, I went into raiding knowing I didn't like it. I was just there because my friend wanted to be there. Toxic friend, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and, but for, for some reason, even after she quit, I, and we weren't friends anymore, I still kept raiding. I don't, I don't know what was wrong with me. It took me a while to wake up from that. Oh, well. I think I'm thinking of rating next year, just thinking for now. Well, if you do decide to do it, I hope it goes well for you, and I hope you have a good guild or group of friends that you're going to do it with. I hope you enjoy it. So best of luck to you, Lady Daisy. And just to be clear, I don't have anything against people that like rating. I never, I have nothing against people that enjoy something I don't. I'm not that type of person. If you play differently than I do, I don't care. <laughs> you play how you want to play, and we're happy. You know? I'm not that type of be like, well, this is how you should play. If you don't do what I do, you're doing it wrong. No. That's silly. That's silly. Uh, I've never done M+. M+, plus is cool. I do like it to a point. But it just gets to... There's no end to it, you know? Like, in my mind, that's what kind of stresses me out. Because I enjoy working on something that has an end. That's why I liked doing Mythics in... Wad because it wasn't Mythic Plus. You just did your Mythics for the week and then you were done. But when Mythic Plus came out, you could just keep going and going and going until you just physically couldn't do it anymore. And that just, that was just too much for me. Like, I liked it at first, but it wore me out. It wore out. It wore me out. <laughs> oh, but we want to see your face. Well, you can't even see my face now, so there won't ever be a cam. Because that's too much of a pain. And I dislike them, personally. Oh, uh, someone gave me a sub. Oh, thank you for the resub, Chloe. I super appreciate the, your continued support. Thanks to folks like you supporting me, I can continue to work. So, thank you so much. I super appreciate it. And a whoop as well. Yes, very, very sweet of you. Thank you. Hi, I love your YouTube videos and just happen to be around for the stream. Well, welcome, Jess Bop. Glad to have you here. I'm 
Glad you like my YouTube videos. And welcome to the stream. Enjoy. Ah. <sighs> Alright, where are we at here? Yes, it is. Good. That's good. Uh, I returned with a f belly full of pasta. Also, yay, VTube! Yes! I'm gonna be joining the VTube crew eventually. I need to get a better camera, though. Um, I don't think mine's very conducive to uh, VTubing, but I haven't played with it too much. Um, and my artist said that there's some settings they're gonna go over with me after I get they get me the model on how to work with the camera that I do have to make it better, so. It's probably a settings thing. I'm still a scrub. <laughs> uh, my top three favorite things to do is, in WoW, is follow the story, PvP, and rating. Nice. Awesome. Glad you know what you enjoy. That's very important in life. I like rating, solo rating, and legacy content, that is. <laughs> you and me both, team. That's my type of rating. Solo rating. Wahaha. If you don't play Mecha Gnomes, you're doing the game wrong. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, yes, let's see here. Thank you again for the resub, Chloe. I really appreciate it. Uh, my theory is that people who like reading are performers at heart. Beating a boss is a lot like correctly doing choreography. True, that would make sense. And there's a lot of people that enjoy competition and challenge as well, so it definitely would include those folks. Um... And my thing is, I don't, I'm not super into challenging stuff. I'm not super into competitive play. And I'm not super into social play. And I'm not super into performer choreography type play, like you're saying. So, <laughs> as you can imagine, that it didn't work out for me very well. I mean, it went fine. I even was a raid leader for half of WAD. But, you know. It's not that I can't do it. I can perform very well. I have no doubts that, that if I wanted to pick up raiding right now, I could be a very good raider. And I would do my job well. Um, if anything, I'm sure I would excel. I have confidence in myself to be able to do that. However, it's not something I'm interested in anymore, so I'm just like, eh. I'm good. Uh, oh, no worries. We all play the game we way, w the way we like to play it. And what we like may change with time. Exactly. Precisely. Yep, and plus is the Diablo treadmill stuff. Yep, exactly. That's another reason why I don't play a lot of Diablo. Diablo is another game that I love the lore and the franchise as a whole. And I'll play through it once. I am looking forward to D4. Um, and I plan to play through it once for the campaign to get to see the new story. But after that, I'm probably not going to play it. <laughs> because I don't really enjoy that type of treadmill personally. Uh, uh, are you excited slash looking forward to the new gear upgrade system coming in 10.1? Um, not really. I have nothing against it. I know a lot of people are really excited for it, but I don't gear my characters. I have no interest in gear besides transmog. But as far as like item level and stats, I don't care. Frankly, that's another thing that I retired from. When I retired from raiding because I have no reason for it. If I don't do raiding Mythic Plus and PvP... I don't have any reason to be geared. My main character gets the gear from world quests. Sometimes he just kind of gets whatever comes across his lap from doing weeklies and things. and That's about as far as it goes. So I don't personally care that it's coming in, but I've heard people are pretty hyped about it. So that's definitely a good thing. Uh, hello, Sun Eater. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here back with us again. Hey, Kraken Chan. I bought the Dragon Isles DLC. Awesome! Well, I hope you enjoy it. Dragonflight has been pretty good for a lot of folks, so that's good. If you do BC in Legion Battlegrounds, you can get an Illidari blindfold. The flavor text says I can't see without my blindfold. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, imagine not doing something because it isn't fun, right? I know, right? What a concept panoramic. And yet, people do it all the time. People do it all the time. Uh, yeah, I played through D3 once for the campaign, and then I was pretty much done. Yeah, I tried the seasonal stuff for a while um, with Silver when she used to play WoW with me. Um, but I just wasn't super into it. I, I enjoyed it aesthetically. I did. I played Demon Hunter in D3 for a while. I did a glass cannon build. 
It was fun, but I, I don't know. I, I didn't want to do it again. I wasn't super into it. Oh well. I would like a ranged demon hunter in WoW, though, let me tell you. Fell crossbows, please. It'd be great. That is all. <laughs> uh, I'm playing a Spexy Dragon Waifu. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoy. I really do like the, uh, um, the track there. They're pretty awesome. I think it's cool they're incorporating world quest gear into the upgrade track. Yeah, someone else was mentioning that. I haven't really looked into the system at all myself since I don't really care too much about gear, but that's pretty awesome though. Glad people are going to have that option. Uh, I have a couple of guest passes from the collector editions. If you think you know anyone who could use them, give me a shout. I have a whole bunch. I actually save all of mine from each of my old expansions. I even have the old battle passes from the uh, old battle chests or whatever they're called for the RTSs. <laughs> I like saving them, it's pretty fun. They're kind of a neat little relic. But I don't know of anyone myself, just because I don't really play with anyone else who does isn't already playing. But if I find anyone, I'll let you know. There we go. Because the only other person I technically play with now is Canary, Gilded Canary. But she doesn't play that much because she works full-time and she is a full-time mom so you know doesn't have as much time for wow as she'd like which is I'd like either rip <laughs> let me tell you if she could play all the time this would be the crack in a canary show oh well uh, maybe someone in chat who hasn't played yet but is interested in playing. Noise, noise. Well, I'll uh, let you hook that up and figure that out if needed. That's very sweet of you. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Oh yeah, I didn't buy sockets on this character. Right. That's something I'm missing. No wonder this is taking so long. Whoopsie! Oh, here we are here. I only just noticed... Is that a Kraken in dragon form? Oh, my, my rep isn't high enough. Seriously? Really? Alright. It is indeed. This is a Drakthir. One of my many Drakthir that I have. And this one is being leveled with archaeology. I'm surprised you haven't noticed this one. I even used this one for part of the leveling archaeology leveling guide on my YouTube. <laughs> it's the same character. I haven't finished of him yet. <laughs> Alright. I need gold. Wrong way. Uh, where are we at here? Aren't you friends with Persephone too? Oh, well, I mean, I'd be delighted if she considered me a friend. I don't know her in real life, though. We're just streamer friends, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Let's grab 30k just cuz. <sighs> Where are we at here? Uh, are you slash have you done the boss for Transmog that lets you spawn the archaeology and Zulgarub the Cache of Madness? I have on my main, but I haven't really done it much on alts. Oh, uh, YouTube, you have a YouTube channel too? I do indeed, Tierwin. My stream elements has been linking it every so often. It should be linking it here pretty soon, probably. But I do. I do indeed. In fact, that's where I was. I've been a YouTube World of Warcraft guide maker for four years. And that's what I wear. Why I have so many of you here with me now. <laughs> it's because a lot of you are from my YouTube channel. Alright, let's turn in this pristine... And what am I doing here? Right. Let's pick up some more amber slivers. That's what I need. Oh, what is this real life of what you speak? Ah, oh, I know, right? <laughs> wow, those are expensive. 975G? Seriously? That's way too much. I'll pass. Gross. Never mind. I will buy some troll stuff while I'm here, though. 
All right, let's grab troll. There it is. Yep, there it is. There's Stream Elements. Thank you, Stream Elements. I knew it was soon. That's my YouTube channel. If you'd like to take a take a look at it, I've been a World of Warcraft guide maker for technically four years, but my oldest video of remaining on the channel is uh, three years ago because all the nineteen stuff is black. So you know. <laughs> Uh, let's see. In fact, I need to look at troll keys. If this character is going to be doing troll stuff... Um, that one doesn't have a key. Alright, that's fine. Do the old ones not have keys? Maybe they don't. Solve. Uh, where are we at here? Uh, I used to play D3 Hardcore leaderboards, but I have not pre-ordered D4 yet because I do not have much confidence in the release state of Blizz products lately. I can purchase with WoW Gold, but yeah, on the fence as of yet. Well, that's a bummer. I'm super looking forward to D4, even though I'm not going to play it that much. And I really wanted the mount that came with the pre-order, so... <laughs> I definitely got it. Ding, ding. There is a key. It does have a key. That particular one just didn't have it. Troll tablets. Okay, so we'll buy those. I guess we just won't get manted slivers because it's gross. That was way too expensive. Troll tablets? Yeah. Troll... Oh, these right here. Those are expensive too! Good heavens, why are those so expensive? These were not that expensive the other day. Boy. Well, never mind that. I'm not made of gold. Oh well. Uh, still validating. Cries a little. <laughs> uh, I don't know about you, but I love running old raids so I can disenchant all boss drops and sell the reagents. Yeah, that's definitely one way to do it, for sure. I feel my PC can't even play D4. Rip. Prudent Games is bad on principle? Well, that's a bummer. It's a good thing I disagree with that. <laughs> Because I like pre-ordering games. I pre-order all the games that I actually want. Which is pretty much just WoW, Blizzard stuff. Uh, a lot of Nintendo games I do pre-orders. And then it just ships it to me when it's, when it's here. Which is awesome. I like pre-orders. Alright, let's get back over there. I love the hype. I shouldn't, but I do. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Being hyped about something is a good thing. No reason to not be excited about something. <sighs> Alright. Where are we at here? Let's see. Troll stuff. Guess I'll deal with the keys later. Hopefully those go back down because those were not that expensive a few days ago. Yikes. Someone must have bought all the cheap ones. Oh well. I need to start running Shadowlands Dungeon so I can get the green gear faster. They sold for a lot of gold since they have a unique appearance. Noise, noise. Well, good luck on that, Dabs. Good luck to you, my friend. I don't usually bother selling... I mean, I sell transmog, but I don't like farm for it specifically. It's just whatever comes across my lap. And since I do a lot of old content, I get a lot. <laughs> uh, but transmog also doesn't sell very fast. Nice when it does, though. Uh, all right. Let's get back over there. Hmm. Might plunk this boyo down and switch back to my. Um, well, maybe I'll keep going on this one. I don't know. Yeah. Might switch back to my druid and keep going on the pristines for wad. Because the timer is definitely more than up now. Um, for the map, because those silly maps have a 30 minute cooldown on them, and I don't appreciate it. Because the WAD one rerolls very poorly and is very bad about actually changing the 
the excite types. So, uh, yeah. Oh, D4 has lower PC requirements than Diablo 2 Resurrected. Anyone will be able to run it? Well, that's good to know. Awesome. I was never lucky to sell transmog, and I play on an RP server. The only way for me to make gold is to sell mats from gathering. Noise, noise. And yeah, see, I don't really purposely try to make gold unless there's a gold sink. <laughs> All the gold that I have, I come across on my own pretty, pretty easily. I know Canary likes to get tokens once in a while, and dump those into the guild bank, but all the other gold, though, is pretty pretty passive for me. Uh, also, if you're not playing on a 4K, 4K screen, the specs don't have to be that good. Very true. Shockingly, I don't like the look of 4K stuff. It's too... I don't know. Too much. <laughs> uh, so you won't have to worry about that for me. The DFPBP world quests are easy gold for alts. Yes, if you're not on Moonguard. <laughs> I haven't been able to complete one PvP world quest because they are so overpopulated. I mean, even on the main main, I go over there like in the middle of the night and try to do them and I get swarmed. So, uh, yeah. Whatever. I'll be doing those in the next expansion when no one's doing them. I just want the transmog, man. Oh, two mogs are slow movers. You need patience. Yeah, exactly. They're very, very slow. Very slow. I have a NVIDIA GT430 as GPU and FX 8300 CPU and single 8 gigabit, 8 gig stick of DDR3 1300 MHS RAM. I don't know what any of that means, but I know it's specs. <laughs> Uh, I don't necessarily farm gold either. I just don't have enough gold ever. <laughs> I have yet to make more than 100k on any alt. Really? Huh, that's a bummer. PvP world quests are mayhem. Yes, they are absolute mayhem. I know people have been really enjoying them, so they are swarmed on my server. And not to mention, too, they shard on Moonguard with other servers on war mode. So I get... And people will, fart and will make groups, too. They'll come in on raids. So all these non-RP servers that aren't supposed to shard with this just come and sweep house, and it's so frustrating. So, I ain't touching those until the expansion's over, and then I can actually get the mog I want from it. Oh well. It was my Nan's birthday party yesterday. Nice! Well, happy birthday to your Nan. Uh, why would you have a single stick of RAM? Uh, my other stick died. Oh, <laughs> rip! Uh, I agree, that's why I don't do them. Yeah, they're... Too much chaos. Too much. Uh, I complete the gold PvP world quest every day of the pop. Nice, congrats. Yes, I definitely won't be doing that. Myself. And I'm annoyed too that you pretty much need a certain eye level on your alts and they have to be 70. Level 70 to pop all the gold world quests. So that's another reason why I'm not going to bother with any of those. And I'll only do the dragon riding races. Because they're available to me and I have enough alts to do them. So, <laughs> Thank you for the sub, Erf. E-R-F. Erf. Super appreciate the sub. Really sweet of you. And thanks to your support, I can continue to work. So thank you. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, killing Terelec and Nakud for 1300 G on each alt is pog. Noise. I suppose if all of your alts are 70 and they meet the item level requirement to see the gold, then, you know, congrats. <laughs> but I definitely, since I don't gear, that's kind of out of the woods for me, unfortunately. Uh, where are we going here? The Legion PvP world quests we had were fun and Najatar nice to hop in and out of. Yeah, I liked the Legion PvP world quests the best. To me, they just haven't been the same since. Those I had plenty of fun with. And I really didn't... We didn't have any in B of A. But, I mean, we had Najatar, but that wasn't like a world quest. That was a, you know, an event. And then the Shadowlands one was lame. There was only one up at any given time. Not too unlike Dragonflight, I suppose. I liked when we had each one per zone, but that way, you know, it kind of spreads people out a little bit. 
I think that's why it's so frickin' crowded. <laughs> On Moonguard, at least. It's because it's a very overpopulated server and they're all stuffed into one area. Oh well. <sighs> say what? You don't say. <laughs> Thanks for the great vids on YouTube. You are very welcome, Earth. Happy to supply. And thank you for appreciating them. Other than that, I don't like PvP. Yeah, same, Lady Daisy. Same. Uh, I'm curious, just wondering, what is your total gold amount? I know you have tons of accounts. Uh, well, I keep all of my gold in the same guild. And I think I just... It just... I just looked at it when I pulled the gold out. I can't look at it again because it's on... I can't... Eh, it's on cooldown. But I had like 800,000 or something. I think is what I'm up to. Something like that. Oh, because I don't keep gold on my alts. I only keep a minimum of uh, 50g on my alts. And this character has 30,000 that I just grabbed because I was going to buy some keys for archaeology, but they're way too expensive. So, not doing that, I guess. Where are we at here? <sighs> so, somewhere around 800k. Something like that, I think was what I last had. Uh, I made a PC part list for APU system for $700 just to save for it. Noise. Well, good luck on that. Uh, although doing random BG with my guild was fun, I have PvP rage, like road rage. My guildies were highly amused by my more creative <laughs> insults. I can imagine. PvP is definitely rage inducing for sure. Are you working on the Seeker of Knowledge title? I am on my Archaeologist main. That is not on this character, since that is a character-specific achievement in terms of its progress. So, yes, but not on this character. On this character, I am farming uh, restored artifacts um, to funnel into... I have assigned the troll digs to this one, the troll solves, to try to get Zinroke. Uh, at least until I hit 70. When I hit 70, it'll be a different character. Because I level and do archaeology at the same time. Waha. Ah. Ah, to you as well, Jackie. Ah. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Speaking of... I was going to switch back to my man. I forgot about that. Perfect timing. Dab's redeemed hydrate, posture check. Team also redeemed hydrate. And Dab redeemed stretch. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate all of you. <laughs> no worry, Jackie. <laughs> hmm. Hydrating is good. I might go make a coffee here in a second. I haven't taken a break yet. We're about halfway through Alastrem. Alright, where are we at here? Uh, how much XP do you get per dig? Um, the dig sites themselves don't give XP. What does give XP is when you loot... Let's see, let me find one and I can show you. These here. When you... Nope, oh, come on. When you loot the little thingy that you dig up, the finds, they're technically called finds, they're considered treasures by WoW's system. So when you loot this... I have some rested, so keep that in mind, but I got 2,990 experience. It's not a lot. It's very slow. If you would like to look at my archaeology videos on how to do all that, I have a compilation of various archaeology things that I've done over the years, and in that compilation is how to level with archaeology, if you're curious. It's very slow, by any means. Don't assume it's like super fast or super efficient. <laughs> But it's easy. It works all the way up to max level. And you can... I treat it as a multi-grind. I level and farm stuff at the same time. So, uh, Oh, since you're doing archaeology, do you know which uh, rare is the Legion bi-weekly this time? Yes, it is... Uh, uh, let me look at what quest it is. Because it's the... Because um, 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 you can look it up, technically. I just did it. Uh, the Reliquary Calls, yeah, which is the... Let me look at my achievements and I can tell you which one that one is. Dur, 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 dur. Where professions... Uh, this side up. 
It's the... Let's see. Starlight Beacon. The Starlight Beacon is that one. The Reliquary Calls quest leads to the Starlight Beacon. So that's what's up currently. I have those memorized. <laughs> ah, just arrived and break again. Did we found it a mutual habit? Apparently so. I am about to break here in a second. I was just getting caught up on uh, chat real quick here. I gotta go. I'll be right back. Gotta go get a coffee. I'm probably gonna get a coffee as well. Um, YouTube. Yep, there's my YouTube stuff. Appreciate that. Leveling guides. Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. How long did it take you roughly? Did you feel it was sort of okay fast? Um, I didn't really pay attention, but I think it was somewhere between 8 and 10 hours. If I recall. But I've been doing it mainly on stream, so I haven't, like, that's how I'm gauging it. Um... Something like that. I don't mind which one I'm doing, just don't want to spend hours digging. Well, I mean, that's why you gotta look at, you know... Um, look at it as a multi-farm. So definitely check out that archaeology video if you haven't, because I don't do archaeology to level. I do archaeology to get the stuff out of it and level at the same time. So... Do you still have a comparison for how fast different zones are for leveling? I do indeed. My series are still up. And if you need to see my spreadsheets, those have all of my zone data in them. And the time will not change. So I'm going to take a break. I need to go to the bathroom and I'm going to get me a coffee as well. So break time. I'll be back.
off here. Excellente. Uh, no, I meant the time for the Legion bi-weekly quest. Oh, got you. I don't know, less than an hour. I don't think I've ever timed them except for the one that gives you gold. I don't usually pay attention to that sort of thing. So, I couldn't tell you there. The only thing I- only time I time things is if I need to do a video on it or I'm making a guide, which I guess is the same thing. <laughs> uh, usually you can knock those out in an hour, so yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't think they ever really took me more than an hour. The Legion by week was a pretty, pretty fast. <sighs> All right, back at it. Back to the grind. Back to the grind we go. And I got coffee now. Waha. Got me a latte. Quite tasty. Yeah. All right. We will return to digging. I oh, that's right. I was going to switch characters, wasn't I? I was. Well, it's fine. This character is halfway to 70 uh, through 69. I'll just... I'll just keep going on this character. It's fine. It's progress anyways. Uh, is it a screaming latte? <laughs> Uh, it's not screaming, it's cookie dough. I don't really like the cookie dough flavor, honestly, but it was all I had left. It was either that or hazelnut. I'm running out of syrups. Need to get more. <sighs> there we go. Boop. So more archaeology. For you and me. Do 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 do. There we are. All right, all right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I finished that. Eh. I really do want to finish my achievements. I might just go ahead and get back on that character now. <laughs> I switched because I couldn't use the map. So I'll just log out this uh this one here. Come back to him later. Yash indeed. Hmm. Excellente. Okay. Well, he's halfway through sixty nine, so not too shabby. Let's get back on the druid and get back at the achievements. Now that I can use the map. Really don't like that it has a 13 or a 30 minute cooldown on it. I think that's a bit silly. 15 would be a lot more tolerable. 30 minutes is too long. Gotta continue the pristine grind? Exactly. Like, I got items I need to collect too, but I really want to get the pristines done because, like, heh, those are much more likely to happen than the uh, last five rare items I need. Huh. <sighs> Almost two hours to validate files? Dang, that's intense. That's a lot. Okay, let's get back out here. Okay, and I can fix the thingies now too. Arky artifacts, boop, and that one. Okay, please re-roll into something good. Uh, I guess that's better. <laughs> guess I'll take it. Only two of those are usable, unfortunately, but that's okay. Onwards. And hope we get more pristines. Yeah. I am running out of Arakoa ciphers. I have plenty of the Draenor clans. I need to dump those. I don't need those anymore. I'll keep them on hand, though. And... 
Getting low on ogre missives. Let's see. Let's grab some gold. Check prices on those. <sighs> oh, let's see. I missed a couple of things up here. Um... Have you ever been targeted in warm PvP because someone recognized you as a streamer, Kraken Latte? Uh, if they- sorry, Whip Up, I didn't see your question earlier. If they did, I didn't know about it, but I- unless I go specifically to the Dragonflight PvP world quests, I never have a problem with war mode on Moonguard. Especially if it's uh, 60 or lower, so I don't believe so. And honestly, I highly doubt it. I've only been recognized by people like three times. <laughs> I'm a lot less popular than you guys think, but I appreciate it though. All right, let's grab another 30k here. Oh. Hello, Labot. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. Let's buy more of these. 15, yeah, that's much better. Get all of those. And 99, a little more expensive, but it's fine. I'll take all of those. Okay, much better. Replenish our keys here. Uh, did I not get as many as these as I thought I did? Maybe I didn't. I'm probably gonna need more. I'll just buy all the cheap ones. <laughs> That's why they're expensive. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I didn't put the gold back on my other character. Whoopsie. Oh well. Put this one back. Okay, moving on. Oh, I've been near Kraken a few times, but that was by accident and we had the same faction. Yeah, exactly. We happen to be on the same server, so, you know. <laughs> Lies, you are very popular, especially with me. Zero says forever. <laughs> oh, well, I appreciate it, Woodley. That's sweet of you. Um, this isn't one that I want, but I guess we'll go for it. Whoops. Eh, there we go. Yeah, this is a Draenor Clans one. Whoops. Oh well, we'll finish it since we're here. It's fine. I'm done with the Draenor Clan, so I don't need these ones, but... You know. Oh no, wow, stalkers! <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'll ask Kraken Latte to autograph a body part when we meet. <laughs> uh, yes, if we ever meet in real life, I can autograph part of you if you want. <laughs> there we go. Boop. Weighted axe. I'll take it. If only for the extra restored artifacts, I'll take it. There we go. Nice. Okay. Uh, OMG, I need that in my life. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. All right, all right. Bam. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. These Draenor ones aren't so bad if you have a whole bunch of keys. And the keys have apparently been a lot cheaper to buy than the than the mop ones. And the dig sites go a heck of a lot faster if you have keys. Ripple app get in line for re legal reasons. This was a joke. <laughs> ah, whittily. You guys are great. <laughs> Whoops, went too far. Ding ding. There we go. Nope, nope, where's that? Right here. I am back. Welcome back, Dabs. I am back as well. Where are we at here? Over here. Okay, okay. Yosh. 
I do have a lot of those uh, drain arcanes left. Maybe I'll uh, un unblacklist the drain arcanes ones, even though I don't need them anymore. At least until I run out of keys. Probably do that. That'd be good. Because uh, that is a good way to get uh, restored artifacts faster, which lets you dump more relics or whatever into yourselves faster. And that is good. I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, Unblacklist. Trainer Clans. There we go. That is fine. Oop, excuse me. Rude. So what if I'm digging in your graveyard? <laughs> uh. Ding ding. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh I can tell you being a druid while doing this is quite nice. Your, mov your mobility and instant mount is quite lovely. <laughs> uh uh, the nerve to attack an honest working grave robber. Right? That's what I said. I'm just here digging up your graves. How dare? I'm not hurting no one. <laughs> Druid equals best class confirmed. Uh, best class for archaeology and gathering at least. Which I guess archaeology is kind of like gathering. For sure. Not really fond of it for leveling. It's actually one of my least favorite classes to level. That's for sure. But at max level for this sort of stuff, it's definitely nice. Definitely nice. I need to blow my nose real quick. One moment, everyone. Ah, I can breathe through my nose again. <laughs> it's getting a little stuffy for some reason. There we go. Now we're good. All right. Uh, Evoker gets extra nodes to gathering at least current content is is not so clear. Noise, noise. Good to know. Uh, sorry if I missed it, but do you do the time walking weekly for gear on alts? I multi box a few of my weaker alts usually, but I never complete it. I do not. I haven't done time walking for the gear quest since BFA. <laughs> Like, early in BFA, too. I do plan on, on that note, though, I really like the uh, tier sets for 10.1. And so one of my goals is to get all of my class mains up. Um, and get a whole bunch of more characters to 60. I mean, I already have plenty. But I think I might actually spam time walking for that gear in 10.1. Because... You know, the time walking gear always gives you, it's either like normal or heroic, sometimes it changes for some reason, but usually normal. Um, the normal variant from the current raid. And so I'm totally going to do that for transmog. So that's on the horizon, definitely. Because I, for whatever reason, I really like the sets from 10.1. I am like so jazzed to get all of them. So, you know, <laughs> but usually no, usually I don't. Leveling as a gatherer is fine. I tend to go guardy and just make sure I rarely die. <laughs> understandable, understandable. I think the class is relevant now as everyone could grab a node while dragon riding. Yeah, kinda, I suppose. But you can't really do that in older expansions unless you have the stirrups and BFA and Legion or use the... whatever you call that thing. The, um... Sky Golem. The golem type mounts. There's a couple of them that do that for herbs. But Druid's just nice because there's no cast time. <laughs> no cast time between my forms, which is really nice. And I'm 
constantly a little bit faster because I always have like Kitty Forum on hand and I have the Feral Affinity talent, whatever it's called now, um, for speed increases and etc. 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 It's quick. Pristine, 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 pristine. Yeah! <laughs> we got a pristine! Ladies and gentlemen, we only need two more pristines for Wad now. Aww! Anyway, moving on. <laughs> uh, true? Yeah, yeah. Oops, guess what? What? Chicken butt. <laughs> Sorry, I know, I'm so immature. <laughs> you're pretty? Aw, well thank you, Sun Eater. I appreciate that. And you're pretty too. I appreciate that. Oh, that's sweet of you. <laughs> All right. There we go. So we got one pristine. Uh, I, I know pretty bababaka. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't be sussy. <laughs> mm. Ah, good coffee. Excellent coffee. Occasionally, if you hear the sound of teeth on stone. That is my big ass front teeth hitting my coffee mug. You got freaking beaver teeth let me tell you. Hi <laughs> Neil Sussy! <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe you are. Maybe you aren't. I don't know. Darn it! I need to stop forgetting to get my stream deck set up because the uh, the Among Us sound, like the suspicion sound I have that in my list of sounds I want to grab to be able to use on my stream deck. Gosh darn it. This would be a perfect time for that. <laughs> oh well, whatever. It'll happen. It's on my list of many things to do. My ever-growing, never-getting-smaller list of things to do. <laughs> oh well. That's how it be sometimes. <sighs> Ooh, getting stuck on bones. Uh, nice. Ericoa scroll. Don't need that, though. I need an Ericoa crystal. Nope, another scroll. <laughs> Let's see here. One second. Uh, uh, uh. Taking notes. Set up my stream deck. Gosh. Keep forgetting. Uh, what bean or roast do you like? I'm a bit of a coffee aficionado. Like a few local roasts from here in Alberta. Um, I usually get like a generic French roast. I don't really get anything too fancy. Uh, I actually get all of my beans from Costco. It's the Kirkland brand. But I usually do like a French roast or I like the Colombian. Um, I think the Colombian is the one I like. It's been a while since I've actually looked. I buy them in bulk. I'll buy like... 10 of these massive bags and then put them in the freezer because coffee beans freeze really well um because my coffee machine grinds the beans on on demand so i buy a whole bunch in storms so, and then i put them in their own little containers so i don't actually look at the i think it's french roast it's usually the medium kind of like less bitter beans i don't i cannot stand bitter flavors so i don't like the darker roasts uh, I've been watching a lot more of your YouTube vids. Well, thank you, Sun Eater. I hope they've been helpful and I hope you enjoy them. I know for most folks, they're probably a little difficult to binge just because it's not entertainment, it's informational stuff. And that's definitely less popular, but, you know, this is the path I have chosen. <laughs> Costco is great for beans. It is. They have they come in really big containers. The Kirkland brand specifically, which, you know, is the Costco brand. They're, uh, like, uh, what do you call them? Airtight sealed? Uh, vacuum sealed. There we go. So, like, if you don't open them, I don't have to transfer those ones into the... into the, uh... their special containers anymore. So I'm probably gonna start doing that. Uh, my favorite type of coffee is Monster. <laughs> Understandable. Kraken, you need a P.O. box so we can send you all the good coffee beans in the world. I actually do have a P.O. box. If you look in my Discord under Kraken Facts, that has been there actually since I have had my Discord back in... When did I start my Discord? It was like mid-2020 or something. So I do actually have one. It's in my Kraken Facts under my Discord. Totally public for you. 
Uh, I like the espresso beans from Costco. How large is your freezer? How big are the bags? Well, I have four freezers because I do a lot of, um, uh, what do you call it? Farming, I guess? Gardening? So I have one for like vegetables and berries. I have one for meat because I have a big family. Um, and then the, you know, the, the other two were like frozen goods, other frozen goods and things. Um, the bags are, I don't know how many pans they are, but they're like maybe a foot long-ish. They're not too big. They're not like massive. I haven't actually looked at the weight though. Uh, coffee in the freezer? <laughs> yes, the coffee beans themselves freeze really good, which is nice. I got AI of toys today. Nice, congrats, awesome. Wait, what? <laughs> Rubs hands in glee. <laughs> ah, you're funny, Whittley. I do indeed. I have a P.O. box. If someone had asked for that in the past, uh, they never sent me anything, but I do have one. <laughs> uh, we have six freezers and three fridges on our ranch. Nice. Yeah, I only have four here. Um, I have a deep freeze, but I don't usually use it. I don't need it as much. Um, just because it's it's the like the kind of deep freeze that like you open the lid horizontally, I guess, vertically, whatever that would be, like down to up, <laughs> and it's deep, hence the name. So it's kind of a pain to use. Kind of stopped using that one, but everything else is kind of normal. Uh, one freezer full of oink, one freezer full of moo. <laughs> Pretty much, not that specific. We put all the meat in the same freezer, but... <laughs> hey, it works. Uh, what server do you play on, or do you not tell people to stop stream typing? <laughs> nope, I am on Moonguard. It is totally public that I'm on Moonguard. I don't think I've ever been stream sniped because there's... I'm a solo player, it'd be a little hard to do that. And even if you did, I don't really care, so... Doesn't really bother me too much. And I think the only time I actually had an engagement in PvP while I was leveling... I don't know if you all are here for that. It was quite a while ago now. The only time I got attacked during war mode while I was leveling and I just totally cleaned their clock. <laughs> it was pretty funny. It was this dang boomy that kept trying to come attack me and I killed him like three times. I was like, dude, bro. You're just giving me honor points at this point. Please go away. Just because I don't like PvP doesn't mean I don't know how to. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so does the PO box require a name like Miss Crack and Latte or can I leave it blank and just send a package and they'll accept it? Uh, yeah, definitely put a name on it. You can put Crack and Latte. That's totally fine. That way, because it's a shared PO box. It's my, I share that with my family. So that way they would know who it goes to. But as long as the address is correct, doesn't really matter what name it is. Uh, streams now come incoming. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Good luck. Our house is like that. It's sorted by meat type. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, gotta have the meats. Uh, yeah, especially for us. We live way out in the country on a, uh, on a, a tree farm, so, you know. Uh, awesome, swoons and glee. <laughs> You're funny, Whittley. <laughs> uh, nah, I can't be as changing server. Nah, I feel that. I totally understand. Honestly, poor Moonguard is so overpopulated. I love Moonguard to pieces, but it's starting to drive me nuts lately because it's becoming more and more populated. And it's had population issues since BFA. And it's just getting worse. Like, to the point that on Saturday, Stormwind was so freaking laggy. I had to leave and go do stuff in Shatrath just to get away from the lag because there was so many people on. I'm not making this up. It's it's an actual problem. <laughs> it's starting to drive me crazy. I couldn't even get stuff out of my bank. I was like, all right. <laughs> Something's got to be done about this, please. Oh, well. 
Uh, my mother is very worried about infrastructure collapse so we have enough food to last for six months. <laughs> totally understandable. And honestly, I don't blame them. Things can get a bit sketchy sometimes and everyone didn't see the Great Depression coming. So... It's always good to be prepared. It is a little dangerous to live, you know, with no food in the fridge and on the fly. Like, I know it's obviously more expensive up front, but it has saved us a few times when things have happened here. You know, like, diesel stops being made, so shipping companies suddenly croak. We have had that here on the West Coast. Things have happened, and we were very glad that we had food. <laughs> so, or even during the pandemic, we always like stock up on stuff and you would not believe how difficult it was to buy stuff in stores for the first year uh, let's see i need to go up there they're all in the grand so let's go up here so definitely wise so i don't blame your parents <laughs> wait moon guard yep moon guard indeed DF flag has been bad since launch, believe me, I know. Running eight clients. Yeah, it's been rough. It's not just in zones. Like, the zone lag seems to have been fixed, but it's really in the cities. Specifically Stormwind on Moonguard. It's just atrocious. And, like, I have to purposely avoid the trading posts during the first week of the months now because there's so many people. It lags, even in Orgrimmar. And it kills me. Or during pre-patch events, or the first week of a new patch. I... I... Like, if I want to actually play without lagging to hell and back, I have to actually skip the first week. It kills me. If I could transfer to a different server, I would. And I love Moonguard to pieces. That's what irks me. It's just so full. Like, if we didn't have the lag issues, I wouldn't care so much. So I hope Blizzard's able to do something. Like, because it's getting bad these days. Uh, I'm a, on a ghost server and I love it. Hardly ever encounter anyone else in the open world. Nice. Uh, not counting the goats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Monkers. Uh, the only moon server I see is Moonglade. If you are on EU, I don't know if EU has a Moonguard server. Because I'm on, on NA. Uh, are you on a UK Sun Eater? Yeah, that might be it. Exactly. I still can't believe that TP shortage, right? Luckily, my family, we always have, because there's five of us, there's always several, we have lots of toilet paper. We always do. We always just stock up and we have it in storage. So I was very grateful that when there was that shortage, we didn't have an issue here. Because <laughs> yeah, it's kind of important. <laughs> uh uh, ye? Yeah, well, that would be it, Sun Eater. I'm on a North American server, uh, not EU, so that would be, that'd be why. You wouldn't be able to see me anyways. You're in a totally different region. Uh, screwed I'm playing my hunter now. Ah, <laughs> uh, you, you have five and I am one of seven. Yep, we have five here of my immediate family. Um, we don't really talk to my not immediate family so much anymore, which is really nice. But there was previously 13 of us. And when my roommate lived with me, my former friend who really took advantage of me, there was 14 of us. So, you know. <sighs> Pepe Cry, I want to play with a new friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, hopefully you can find one. I happen to really enjoy playing solo. But, you know. I know a lot of people play MMOs for the actual social aspect of it. <laughs> You know. You know how that be. Where is this at here? There we go. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, let's see here. Oh, there it is. I did miss it. I was like, it looks like a rock! I guess that makes sense, but I couldn't see it. Uh, imagine playing a multiplayer game for the multiplayer aspect. <laughs> right? Uh, who does that? Really? Pfft, come on. 
<laughs> All right. I'm just glad WoW was very, these days at least, accepting slash conducive to solo play. I mean, it has been for a while, but, you know, it's slowly getting a little more accepting of that side of the player place because there's a lot of people that don't actually play. According to Blizzard, apparently only 20 to 25 percent of the mass player base actively raids and dungeons and PvPs, which is very interesting. That means like 80 to 85 percent, or 80 to no, opposite. 80 to 75 percent. There we go. Math. Don't. And maybe they only play with like a small group of friends at most, which is interesting. So. Very interesting indeed. Interesting metrics. Oh. Uh, that's Boa Boulder. It's rock. <laughs> it's rock, exactly. Uh. Alright. Down we go. Boop. I uh, can confirm. One of the 80% right here. Yeah, see? There's a lot. They're kind of what I call the silent majority. There's a lot more non- I call them non-competitive, because to me, not everyone's a casual player. A casual player is someone who doesn't play too consistently, by technical definition. And I can tell you one thing's for sure, I am not a casual player. <laughs> I probably play more than most raiders do. Uh, but that's why I just go with the term non-competitive. But there's a lot of non-competitive players, so... Uh, which is why it's so mind-boggling that to me that the 20% who do raids and dungeons think they're the majority and that everything should center around them. Yeah, that certainly seems the way it is on forums. It's very interesting. But you know what they say, the squeaky oil gets the wheel. I know. I did it on purpose this time because I do that freaking saying backwards every time. <laughs> it's the squeaky wheel gets the oil in case you're not sure what I'm referring to. But I I'm just, I'm just sticking to my dyslexic version these days. The squeaky oil gets the wheel. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think competitive players are just more vocal, and I think that's kind of why it gives that impression. Honestly, that's just my opinion on that. Because I raided for seven or eight years? Six years? Let's see, it would have been 2013 to the first patch of BFA. What year did BFA come out? Was that 2018? Uh, when did BFA release? Yeah, 2018, that was the first patch. So, I raided and dungeoned and PvP'd for... Let's see, 2000... 18 minus 2013. Yeah, leave me alone. Five years. Okay, so one year less than I thought. I rated for five years. There we go. Uh, hello, Mikhail. Welcome, welcome. I'm doing fantabulous. How are you? Glad to have you here with us. Uh, the devs have been trying to push players to raid the last few X-Packs, and the sub numbers have been contracting. It looks like they're finally trying a different patch with the... Uh, a dif different path with the... Uh, up. Oh my gosh. A different path of the upcoming patch. Why was that hard to say? <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. Words are hard, man. I am grateful you all put up with me. <laughs> uh, I could go off on the whole lecture about the reason behind it, but I'm not in class right now, and I'll spare you the boring details of my professional academic knowledge. Uh, well, it's appreciated either way. But yeah, regardless... I really hope they do more legacy stuff, because that's what I want to see. I want to see the legacy game upkept. I want to see old stuff added to the old world. Like, imagine having world quests, paragon reps, emissary system. I mean, even just things we already have. Dragon flying, and maybe a few other things from newer expansions that you like in the old world. Imagine doing world quests in, like, Northrend. Or Pandaria. Like, and having an emissary system for that on top of the already existing stuff. Just that alone, I would be thrilled. Thrilled to the moon and back. And 
they wouldn't have to just add old stuff back. Like, that's adding new things to old to old world stuff. Words. Words are hard today. <laughs> and so, like, maybe if there was, like, a Pandaren Mog set that never got put in, maybe just a recolor, instead of putting it on the trading post, they could tie it to World Quest and Emissaries in Pandaria to make you go out and do content. How about them apples? I would enjoy the heck out of that. And that's, to me, fairly simple. I mean, I'm sure that's probably not so simple on the coding side of things, but... <laughs> you know. <sighs> uh, let's see, they've done a lot of good with Dragonflight so far. It wouldn't be surprised if different approaches to raids and dungeons are in the future, too. I would definitely love to see that. Like, my only real complaint about is raids and dungeons. Raids more specifically. Um, I have two thoughts on that, I guess. I really wish that the current content instances were immediately flagged as legacy and soloable when the expansion was over. I am totally fine with waiting the expansion to not solo it while it's current. I'm fine with that. But when it's over, why do I have to wait like three or four more years on top of the two years I already waited? Like, good heavens. It's a good thing I'm in this game for the long, long term, you know? Ugh. Kind of kills me. And my other thought is I really would like to see what they... If you've done Exile's Reach, um, then you've seen that... You can queue for it, and you're not forced to wait for the other four people. If there's no one around, it'll just put you into it, and you have those NPCs there to help you. I would love to see that for both raids and dungeons. Even if you don't actually get any mog out of it or something, even though I would like to. You don't have to get gear out of it. Let me complete my quests and my story. I just want to see the story. I want to explore the dungeon. Like Halls of Infusion... Gorgeous dungeon. I've been through it a couple times just to see it. Gorgeous dungeon. It has phenomenal lore stuff about it. Because I'm super hyped about this whole, like, order being fuse infused into the water of the rubies of life and, like, possible mind control or influence from titans. and Like, that's super cool to me. But, you know, I have to go put up with other people to try to do a build to see that story. So, you know. Or I can wait till the expansion is over and solo it. That's the other side of it. Oh well. Uh, uh, let's make it all one world that's level 60. Everything scales to you and you can do whatever you want anywhere. See, I definitely disagree with that one. I would probably not do legacy content anymore if everything scaled up to 60. Part of the joy for me in doing old legacy content is that it does not scale up to me so it's faster and easier. I literally wait to do current expansion stuff so that it's easier later. So I don't necessarily agree with that one, Whittley. And thank you for the follow. I will be gone. I super appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here, and I hope you enjoy your stay. Lore, ha, huh, nerd. <laughs> yes, I am a nerd indeed. That's exactly why I play WoW. I am a lore nerd. I really enjoy WoW's lore, so... Uh, 14 does a decent job at that with the trust system. So I've heard, so that's good to know. Delete the timer from M+, and the gotta go fast, go 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 attitude is toxic. It makes the experience miserable. Have the dungeon's difficulty still go up, though. See, I wouldn't mind if they had both, because I'm sure there are plenty of people who do like that, like legitimately enjoy the timer. I am definitely not one of them, and that's the main reason that I stopped. I liked original Mythics and WAD uh, before they became Mythic Plus because they didn't have that timer. There wasn't a pressure to get it done within a certain time. It's just we progressed as we naturally could as a group. But, you know, to each their own. It's not for me. Not everything has to be for me. There we go. Uh, it's slow as heck, but you can group with the NPCs. Y you can exactly. That's good to know. Yeah. I'm a gay nerd. <laughs> All good. Uh, I know what you mean, and I kind of agree with that. Maybe a different approach, then. I still think the leveling system is outdated, and I'd love for the old zones to be relevant again. But I agree, one-shotting stuff in old zones is fun. Yeah, that's like the main reason Canary and I both enjoy legacy content. Because I'm not competitive. 
I'm not super into challenge challenges. I don't play WoW to be challenged. Now, I like some challenges, don't get me wrong. Like, Torghast was fun. The Mage Tower was great as solo challenges. But in terms of just open world, for max level at least, I like that it doesn't scale up. And that's why I've been kind of annoyed with BFA, and I'm glad that I have most of that done, is because they scaled up the open world to 60. Luckily, not all of it, just the base zones, but... And I haven't really been enjoying the stuff there because of it, even though I'm 70. So... Bleh. You know? <sighs> but, you know, what do you do? <sighs> yeah, same here. Yeah, yeah. Like, leveling's definitely a different ordeal. Like, I like that it, everything scales up with leveling. That's that's a different opinion on that one. I do like everything scaling up to you while you level. But, honestly, the way I could see that you could easily fix that for everyone, for those that do want to scale up and those that don't, have Karomi time available all the, all the time. And then not turn off at a certain point. So if you want the old world to scale up to you for that challenge, let max level players have Karomi time on and let it scale up to you. And if you don't, turn it off. To me, that would be uh, the way to do it, but options are good, in my opinion. Not pigeon pigeonholing people into a single choice, I think, is better, because options are good. There's a whole kinds of different players, and the best way to try to cater to as many as possible is just have all the options for everyone. People will do what they want, and people will do what they want with friends. Uh, I like you. If you play Worgen Hunter, you can get a pug instead of a wolf as your starting pet. <laughs> yes. The Mastiffs, those are pretty dang cute. Alright. Let's finish this dig site here, and then it looks like we will be at the end of today's stream. Because the two and a half hours is about up. Ding ding. Noise, noise. Well, we got one pristine at least today. So we didn't get no progress, so that's good. Slow, slow, slow progress. I also like you. Aw, well thank you, Sun Eater. I appreciate that. I like you too. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's see here. And I'm glad you're here. Enjoy having you here with me in streams. It's been a joy. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Interestingly, we have keys. I like a lot of this here. It's kind of feels not too bad. Not too bad. Thank you for the follow, Nox Nephilim. Super appreciate that, and welcome to the fam. I hope you enjoy your stay. Ding ding! Beautiful. A uh, nice thing too is I think these dig sites have more little diggies in them than the uh, mop ones do. That's interesting. Interesting indeed. There we go. All right. I think that will do us for the day. Let's see. I think that is at the end of our stream here. Let's see who we have available to raid today. Da, 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 da. Who's available? Um, and who's playing Warcraft? They're not. They're not. Here we go. Let's see, we got Persephone or Dead Sandra. They have... I usually pick whoever has less viewers, but it looks like they have the same. <laughs> About the same. Um, I did Dead Sandra last time, so we'll do Persephone this time. Alright. Slash raid. Persephone. Persephone, did I spell that? I did. Excellent. All right. Uh, you know it'd be cool. Uh, I don't know what player houses. Those would be cool. Hopping in here late, but what is the fastest way to level archaeology? Check out my archaeology guide. 
On that, I have a, just the video that's the compilation for all of my archaeology knowledge. That'll help you out there, Fenrir. Uh, I'm almost done with Paladin Arthas. Nice. You all have a e good evening, everybody. I- oh, here's my schedule as well. Schedule. I do the same schedule of streams Monday through Friday in my time. If you need to see what day and time that is for you, check out the schedule there because that will convert to your local time and day. Thank you everybody for being here. We are going to raid Persephone and you all have a wonderful night. I will be back here tomorrow. See you later. And it's actually cut like down here too. I, I made it a crop top uh, last year. Was it the year before? I don't know, but don't worry. Cracking. What's crack a lack and crack? I feel like I've made that joke before and now I, I apologize.